So this being one of your, your most recent paintings, we can see the development between the past paintings we've talked about and looked at. Um, and I'm kind of seeing this and looking at the painting as, you know, your foreground, middle ground, background. Uh, how did you develop those, that depth within this, well, within the paintings as you're working to really hone in on every little detail that makes it just more complex than some of that earlier work? How did you get that aha moment, I guess, or stumble upon that in your process and career? Well, this is uh, largely conditioned by the fact that it's a project. Uh, at a certain point in my career, I started having commissions. But most of these commissions were initially generated by me. I realized that I didn't want to just make a lot of paintings. And I could say, oh, how beautiful, and turn it face to the wall and put another fresh canvas on the easel to do another painting that nobody wanted. And so I thought, since people aren't buying paintings, I'm going to find some way of using my painting to actually contribute something. And uh, the first thing I actually did were, well, I did a painting in my dealer's gallery, one of my dealer's galleries. People could come and watch me paint, you know, and I did a painting of the gallery and I put people in who wanted to be in. And then I started doing that for museums. I remember one of the first I did was for the Brower Museum in Valparaiso. And I remember that uh, I was setting up and uh, working and I'm conscious that I'm not alone. And there's this little girl and she's watching me, and then uh, her family calls to her. She has a kind of snotty older sister who's some kind of prima donna. She's a dancer or in the choir or something that's traveling, and they're coming for her to have her lessons or to perform with a group or something like that. And she's kind of the star. And the little sister is just kind of at loose ends. But they called her. She had to go. And she said, I'll be back. And I thought, Nah, you're not going to be back. The next day, I'm conscious I'm not alone. And here's this little girl, and she's all dressed up, and she's got this huge butterfly bow in her hair. She's all dressed up to come and watch me do the painting. I, I began to see that people enjoy watching things like this, and they enjoy it for different reasons, sometimes because their children are amused. Hospitals. It's very important because sometimes uh, a family with small children will be there all day at the hospital. And the poor children, uh, they're, they're really, they're constrained. They can't run around and play. And so uh, the children love a project like this, and they love to be able to paint on it. They love to be able to be in it. They love to be able to tell me what the story is going to be. And that involves the adults who are minding them, too. And they start really enjoying it. And I would get things that were really touching. You know, I hate to say this, but, you know, all these people have a story, including the two star doctors there. Uh, I think it was Dr. Mock and Dr. Uh, Dr. Liu. They were both... Uh, uh, Orthopedic oncologists. Yeah, so uh, it's a strange environment. Well, thank you very much.